You know, something uh, that gets overlooked these days, for one, is a spinnerbait. They just, for some reason, they don't get thrown like they used to, and I promise you, they still flat out catch fish. Uh, one of my favorite things to throw is actually painted blades. It's something that it gets thrown a lot up north, but you come down here to the south and everybody wants their silver blades or their gold blades or whatever, and, and it's something I can go behind people really year round when they're on a spinner bait, but especially in the spring and the fall, and uh, throw these painted blades and pick up a couple of fish that people left behind. Of course, the spotted bass love them down here, but man, the, the largemouth do too. When, when they get on a spinner bait, Painted blades are usually the number, the first thing I turn to. I just I know there's a lot less people throwing them, and uh, it's a confidence deal where I know I can go behind people and catch bass on it. You know the the number one seller in spinner baits is almost always uh, your double willows. Uh, there's there's endless combinations on this. You could do a big a big white, a small chartreuse, or double whites. Um, there's you know it's just something you can experiment with and. Uh, something you can grow your confidence in and something that uh, just a very small change will uh, will get you a few more bites on the water in a day. Uh, again, I, I absolutely love throwing these in the spring and fall, especially off colored water. But my favorite setup almost always is the double willows. Uh, it's something that, you know, I can throw it on this half ounce head and really burn it, or I can switch to the same blade size and go down to a three eighths and and uh, when they're wanting something slower, uh, I can slow roll it. So there's there's an endless uh, endless ways to fish this deal. I mean, you can just throw it up on the bank and reel it out, or you can you know if the fish are sitting over eight to ten foot, throw it out, count it down, reel it over their heads. Uh, that's just uh, that's the cool thing about a spinnerbait, man. It's it's really versatile, uh, really weedless, really. I mean, as long as you've got it running straight, it's really hard to get hung up on it. So something I can cover a lot of water in and have a lot of confidence in fishing and knowing that when I get around fish, I'm gonna get bit on it.